Hi, I'm Becky, my channel is What Beck Sews. Welcome back if you're a subscriber and welcome if you're new. Today's another Friday Sews where I'm going to talk about my sewing journey with you. I hope you're all well, I hope you've all had a good week and I hope you've all had plenty of time to sew. So what have I been up to this week? Let's start with the way that I look, shall we? Apologies, I've got kind of like a, a I don't know, a little girl, little girl's look going on. Maybe I'm searching for youth. It's because I'm getting closer to 40. Maybe that's what it is. Um, I've got big, big, but, but no, bunchies. I've got bunchies in. That's what I've got. God, this vlog's starting well, isn't it? Um, so I've got bunchies in because I am, it, my, I needed my hair pulled back because essentially I'm cleaning today. It is Thursday. It's my day off. I am going away tomorrow, which I cannot wait. Um, and I'm going on a sewing retreat. And I will have a whole vlog, guys, dedicated to this. So rather than my Sunday vlog, just so you know now, um, you'll have a vlog come out on Tuesday or even Monday night if I get round to editing it as I go. Um, that will just share the from today right through till um, Monday, my sewing retreat that I'm going on. So keep an eye out for that because it'll be lots of fun. There's lots of us going. But I'm cleaning the house because I need to know that it's in a lovely state before I go. So I just whack my hair out the way. I'm wearing a... I can't remember what this pattern is. It's really, really bothering me. I'll pop it across here, but it's made in this gorgeous pink fabric that I got from Dots and Stripes that was at one of the Sewing for Pleasure shows last year. Um, I haven't ironed it because I am in, I've got my joggers on and I am literally just in comfies because um, I've got lots to do today. So now we've discussed why I look a bit like a dishevelled Yeti. Um, let's go on to talk about what I've been up to. So I had my sewing social on Saturday um, last weekend. Now, I obviously shared with you the trip that I went to Birmingham with and I bought lots of fabrics. So what I spent Saturday doing was cutting out lots of things ready for the sewing weekender that I'm about to embark upon. I had some pre-cut things here as well um, for me to take away with me. But essentially, I have got a few things. And the idea is, is that I'm going to flip between them. I may not necessarily get everything made up. I have one thing that I want to achieve this weekend. Um, and that is my Nova coat. So I've got some scrap of this fabric down here. Now, I did share this in my last vlog. So apologies if I feel like I'm repeating myself. But this is the gorgeous red fabric. It's like a furry fabric um, and it's so soft and lovely. I got it from Barry's last Saturday and I have got this fabric here as the lining to go in it because I think that they just contrast so well. It's my colour red. I absolutely love this colour red. Um, and the one thing I'd like to walk away from this sewing weekender is with an overcoat made. Now, the Nova coat is two different lengths. You've got a short one and you've got a long one. Um, I didn't think I'd like this. It's a cocoon style coat. And when I went into the shops and did a bit of trying on clothes, I've shared this journey with you. All the oversized coats looked terrible on me. But then I went to a sewing social a couple of weeks back and Adele bought her Nova coat with her and I absolutely fell in love with it. Now, I know that one of the reasons that I fell in love with it was because she'd used a drapey fabric. And yes, it was pink and I absolutely love the fabric, but it was a drapey fabric. And I think that I really liked the way that that fit. And because the coat that she made up was in one of the sort of typical colours that I would wear and colour palette, it gave me a really good idea of if I was to go out and choose a fabric that I like, that's in my colour pa fabric, uh, colour, colour palette, so to speak, whether I'd wear it or not. So I have gone ahead and purchased that. I've cut that all out. That is ready to go. That is one of the things that I really, really, really want to get made up this weekend and want to get finished. The other things that I got cut out whilst I was there, because there's some fabrics that weren't new. I have a bag of scraps of fabric, basically, from my sewing social, from where I did all my cutting out. But it makes it nice and easy because I can share with you everything that I got cut out. So I don't know if you guys remember, but at Christmas, my partner bought me the Style Arc dress, um, the Bell Style Arc dress, the Style Arc Bell dress, which is a gorgeous 
shirt style dress it's got a sheared back Alison who is so like dotty over here on Inst uh, no over here on YouTube I'll link her channel down below she's made loads of these dresses and looks amazing in all of them and it's a dress that I I can envisage wearing both in a casual way but also to work um I quite like a um how do I describe this smart casual look i'm either really really casual or i like that kind of elegant style um very go to work style i will be honest but yeah it's it's this dress i've been wanting to make for ages now style art constructions are awful and i think that's the problem and what has always put me off but i know there's a sew along out there on youtube so if i can't work my way through the um, instructions then i can always pop over to the sew along and get what i need so I decided that I was going to cut out this fabric here, which was a fabric that I got from Stitched Fabrics. And it had these, it was, it's got these sort of blue flowers with these pops of green all over it on this really dark background. And it's a cotton lawn. It's gorgeous. I think it's one of their X designer fabrics. I don't know if they've still got this in stock. I'll link Stitched Fabrics down below so you can go and have a look because they do have an online shop. But it is just stunning. I think I paid about £10 a metre for it. So it wasn't overly expensive as, as cotton lawns can be. And sorry, I've got loads of scraps of it. So I've got that all cut out. Now, one of the things that I had to do, because I had three metres of that fabric, I had to get the skirt and cut it slightly shorter, which... I'm hoping we'll be okay. I've taken, I would have had to have cut it down anyway because of my height um, and the height that style art patterns are made for, if I remember rightly, is five foot six. So I would have cut it down to have made it shorter, but instead of taking a couple of inches off, I think I've taken about four inches off of it. So it will probably come just below the knee on me. When I held it up, I think that was where it was sitting. Now, I had gone through my uh, stash of Jazz and Wild buttons because I needed to take some buttons with me. And I am going to be using some of my buttons that aren't yet on the, the shop. They will be. I just need to make enough stock for them to go on the shop. So let me grab them to show you. So these are the buttons. They're just, they've got like a little ridged edge to them, which is just a really nice detailing. And then they've got this lovely sort of dark blue, um, I want to say dripping with um, the clear. And I just think that that would be really nice on these because it would blend with all the colours that are on there. Um, I did think about having pops of green and actually just making some buttons up for the dress for me. One of the luxury things about making your own buttons are that you can. And I did like that idea, but I couldn't get the green a bright enough pop, if that makes sense. I did have these and I was a little bit unsure. These are over on the shop. Um, these are like my um, flower buttons. I love these buttons and stuff, but it's probably the colour. Um, so I don't know if you can see, they've got like a clear centre to them and they are in the shapes of flowers. And then they're, they're just this lovely dark blue. And I thought that given the fact that there's tulips on this, they would go quite nicely with that. But I feel like they get lost in the fabric a little bit, if I'm honest. Whereas I felt like the other ones, because you had the clear... Because oh, you had the clear pop, they just stood out a little bit more. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will take both sets with me. And then if you guys are voting more towards the flowers, then I will take them and uh, use them because there's only five flowers that come in my pack. So I would need to take a couple. Um, but yeah, so they're the buttons that I want to use for that um, because it's got the button down front on it. So hopefully I've popped the stock images in so you can see the actual pattern that I'm talking about. The other thing I got cut out was this fabric here. This was the Ponty Leopard print. Sorry, I'm using scraps. Um, but it's just easier. Um, these were to make a pair of the Made for Mermaids Winnie pants. Now, I made a pink pair that I shared with you last week. Now, I haven't um, worn them, and I was thinking I'm going to be taking them away. It didn't matter that they were too big. But I wore them for the day that I had filmed my last Friday sews, and 
they were just too big they were falling down so i've gone down by two sizes like i should double check my measurements and i didn't realize that they did have a mid-rise um uh, line on the pattern as well so i've gone and cut the mid-rise pattern and this pair i've done without the pockets i know that's controversial but without the pockets um and i've gone to the shorter line as well because the other ones were just so long on me so hopefully they'll be perfect now i might sew them up on the first day that i'm there because if i sew them up on the first day that i'm there i can wear them whilst i'm there so because they'll be nice and comfortable to wear so they were three of the things i got cut out whilst i was at the actual social and to be honest with you because i was cutting both the patterns and the um fabric it took me my social runs from 10 till 3 and it took me about four hours to cut the pattern then cut the fabric so i did it all very carefully i took my cutting mat with me to my social so others could also cut out my social which was actually really lovely to have that there there is one other thing that i am taking that i have cut already that's not to say that i'm not going to cut some more things out today because i may want a bit of choice while i'm there so let me grab the other thing that i have cut so i am shamelessly and i mean shamelessly copying the lovely amelia who is so amelia on this next make now, I really like the everyday dress by New Craft House. I will pop an image here of one that I have made previously that was my 12 version. And I really had hankering to make another one. And I kept going back to the picture on Instagram that Amelia had put up with hers in this beautiful, beautiful fabric. Now, I know that she... This one didn't fit her. I think this one didn't fit her 100%. It was the first one that she made. Um, and because of her vlog where she talked about this particular one, I sized down for myself. So I have now gone ahead and cut this out. This is a cotton lawn, so it's very different. Um, it's got a bit more weight to it than obviously the last one that I made because the last one that I made was viscose. Now, I'm either going to love or hate this one. I'll be honest with you guys. It will be... Um, It'll be one of those whether i wear it or not because it is cotton lawn it has got that bit more structure and the everyday dress is very gathered and very oversized in certain areas and it's a little bit out of my comfort zone but hanging around with adele is pushing me out of my comfort zone with m more boxy makes i think i'm having the same influence on her with colors that she is with me when it comes to not always going for a fitted garment and occasionally i like it so I loved my viscose version. I'm going to see how I get on with this. And because I adore this fabric, I'm hoping that I will love the dress because of that. So the everyday dress is very, very long on the actual pattern. I have cut this down to be a lot shorter. So I've messed around with the tears. Um, I think it's just over my knees that I've got this done. This is a Lady McElroy cotton lawn. I cannot remember the name of it, but I will link this fabric down below so you can see. This particular one here came from Little Miss So-and-So when I was subscribing to her All Set to Sew box. Um, I never really made the patterns up in the fabrics that came out for the All Set to Sew, but because I subscribed to the luxury one, it was great because you got to pick your fabric and then choose your pattern accordingly so I could mix and match. I miss that subscription box, I must be honest. Um, but this is absolutely lovely, so I'm quite looking forward to taking that. And that is a simple sew. It's um, a straightforward gathered dress. There's just a button on there, so no real fixings. I've got to work out what button I'm going for for the um, the Rolo loop at the back. But other than that, it's going to be amazing. I might have, I think I've got a button in this sort of colour. So yeah, I'll go through my stash and have a look. It might be one of my pre-bought buttons that goes with that. So they're the things I've got cut out so far. Um, I have currently got going around in my washing machine some fabrics that I bought last weekend um, to be cleaned and dried. And I may end up cutting out the heyday dungarees that I wanted to make to take, um, but I hadn't washed the fabric, so that's in the machine. I may do that this afternoon. I found my pattern because I was struggling to find my pattern because it had gone into a safe place and a safe place in this house could be anywhere. So yeah, I... If you're going to watch my other vlog, if I do decide to cut anything out, I will be sharing that later. 
I have only done a little bit of sewing this week, but what little bit of sewing I have done, I've been very much enjoying. I'm going to finish this today as well. I have a very busy day. Today consists of housework, washing, going to get my car cleaned, filling up the car, um, going to the shop to get a cake, um, packing, probably more cutting, and then I want to finish this dress because I want to take this dress away with me. Actually, I want to wear this tomorrow. So this is the bodice in this gorgeous fabric. This is the Tokyo Lights fabric from Lady McElroy. It's a, a visco chalet. It's very, very tricky to work with. I must admit, it's a very slippery fabric, but it's just stunning. So I, when I bought this last year, it was at the, I want to say, it might have been the Festival of Quilts that I bought this, so August last year. So actually not been in my stock, that in, in my stock, in my stash that long. And I basically saw this on a lady that had walked past me and she was wearing a Marnie blouse. Um, I thought it was a Soho House 7 um, uh, Regala blouse, but um, I think she follows me, so she told me it was the Marnie, and I was just in awe of it. It was absolutely gorgeous. So I went to the Lady McElroy stand, and I said to Adele, I really, really love that fabric. She told me what it was. I went there, and I purchased it, purely because I saw that lady wearing it, and she looked amazing in her Marnie blouse. So I decided that I was going to make the Tilly and the Buttons indigo dress. I reprinted this at work this week and stuck together the pattern because if you've watched my channel for quite a while, you will know that when it comes to Tilly and the Buttons patterns, I have a real issue with shoulder placement. I know what this top is now. It's the Tilly and the Buttons Tabitha t-shirt. Just worked it out from the shoulder that I've just extended the arms down on. Um, I have a real problem with the shoulder and I have to do narrow shoulder adjustments and they were they were messing up the shape of the whole pattern whenever I was doing them, even though I'd done a few different versions of a shoulder adjustment um, according to various different tutorials on YouTube. So I tried grading in the end, so grading out to a smaller size up here because I'd always find they were a little bit bigger over here for me as well. So I then grade from a four out to a six under the arm, which is my sizing in, well, my sizing is seven in most of Tilly's patterns. However, because a lot of hers are oversized, I always size down. So grading out to a six. So I reprinted the pattern. I made the changes to the pattern that I needed to. I debated because the indigo is so oversized to make it in a size five. So only grade out to a size five. However, I tried the one that I had on upstairs because I've put a little bit of weight on since I made my last version in May last year. And that one was snug on the chest area. So I decided that I would go with the size six, but grade from a four across the shoulders and neckline. So this part here, and then grade out as I come under the arms to a six. I'm going to just put this over what I'm wearing as a top because it's just the bodice that I have made just to show you something because I have had to make some adjustments. Now I hate facing and normally I would bias bind, but because I've made these changes, I didn't want to distort or change the shape. And I thought, oh, I'll do the uh, facing. That'll work just fine. So hang on, I'm gonna have to take the top off that I've got on underneath so you can see this. Editing Becky interjecting here um not going to say too much um i will pop in some video footage that i have managed to take tonight i finished the dress tonight it's far too big the fit issues uh, uh, i don't even know where i've gone wrong and i'll talk about that a bit more next week with you but i have taken some video footage this won't be worn tomorrow which is really 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 frustrating um because i love this fabric and i feel like i've just wasted this fabric so I'll hand you back to other Becky waffling about hoping how nice this is going to turn out. So here we go. Okay, so I have um, interfaced my facing. I spent so much time under stitching and ironing to get this to sit flat um, because it is a viscose chalet. I was very conscious of that. And um, you can see 
here that it's sitting perfectly on the shoulder yeah um this bit is a bit loose i'm not gonna lie and it is a bit baggy here but i think once the dress is actually on it it'll sit lovely um because it'll pull it down which is what you want but doing the adjustments that i did did not cause it to sit properly on here sorry you have to excuse the straps i'm wearing a sports bra because i'm cleaning today um it's more comfortable so it didn't work my adjustment did not work on this and what i've had to actually do is place some darts into this now the fabric's so busy i don't think you're going to see this particularly well but i've placed a dart in across the shoulder line now nadia from um stitch and style by nadia is has made a tilly in the buttons dress and when i met her at the staffordshire social um last year at some point she was wearing tilly in the buttons lyra dress and um she said she the same problems that i've always had with that particular dress she said what she did was put a dart in and i had a look at it and it looked really good and it solved the problem and hadn't distorted the um shape of the neckline which this hasn't and i think i could have sized down again to a three to get this to sit properly and then still put a dart in to get it to sit where i want it to on my shoulders so i think this looks okay um I have graded out to a six. Now, I don't know whether because I made my other one that was in a um, five, a, it, I don't know whether because I made the other one that was in the five, size five, um, it was in like a poplin weight, but it was a really lightweight poplin weight. So I don't know whether because this is a viscose, I think I could have actually, because I, I mean, the room that I have here, it's just, there's loads. I could have sized down again. Um, but I'm trying not to show you my belly. Let's pull that up. Um, but yeah, I think this will be okay. I really do. I've hemmed it all. I need to, um, I was doing these darts quite late the other night and um, I haven't um, finished the seams of the shoulders because I didn't know if I'd need to take it apart or do anything with it because I couldn't get it to sit right. So I need to go in and finish these seams and then I just need to attach the skirt annoyingly i really wanted to do like a maxi style um dress in this fabric but i did not have enough of this fabric to have a ruffled tear so i'm literally going to have the knee length version of this but i think that's going to look lovely what i may do is have a look at this on properly and i may actually have it as a tunic length because it may look better with leggings to do it that way rather than um, as a dress but we'll just see I'm going to play with that a bit later today but I really wanted to show you the dress now if I have finished this before I edit this and it's done I'll pop a picture in here for you to see um, but this is what I want to wear tomorrow because Adele and I are going to have a mooch about and we're going to go shopping and we're going to have some time together and I I'm going to spend most of the weekend in comfies it would be really really nice to be not dressed up, but to feel made up, if that makes sense, for shopping tomorrow. So yeah, this is the Tilly and the Buttons Indigo. And the adjustment that I have had to make is to put a dart in the shoulder that goes front into back um, to make it fit. And I think I could have sized down a little bit more or done something because it still sits slightly over, but it's not over enough that it's bothering me then it makes me feel like i've got really really broad shoulders it sits fine from that perspective but i am conscious that it could do with coming up a little bit more but then as you can see here it just there's just so much room in it i think that's the problem i love this dress in principle i've made it so many times and got so many different versions of this dress i love it but I'm always having a problem with getting the fit right on it. So even the darts on this, so the darts come to point right now perfectly. But I am not wearing a normal bra. I am wearing my sports bra, which means that my boobs in a normal bra will probably be uplifted a little bit more. And I don't think that, that the dart line is going to be right on it either. But I'm not going to worry about that. It's because of the pattern, you're not even going to see the dart lines. It's just going to look like a drapey top. But if you guys know any pattern out there that is similar to this Tilly and the Buttons indigo dress pattern, please, please, please pop it down in the comments below because 
I love the style of pattern. I love that the neckline is a bit more open. Uh, I mean, I'd be happier with a slightly lower neckline. I love the fact that it's made in a woven fabric and that there's no fixings to it. Um, I just don't, the fit of this is just, for some reason, it, I cannot get it right. I can get it to a point where it's wearable and lovely, don't get me wrong, and this will be wearable and lovely, but I was almost disappointed because I adore this fabric so much. Um, and I really do. This is a fabric I could see myself purchasing again to make other things with because I just love it. Um, I just wanted to make the perfect outfit. And I thought, oh, finally got the Tilly fits going right for me. I'll just, you know, cut into the fabric. I'll get it done. And I was kind of disappointed the other night, but I have fixed it. I put darts in and I've managed to get there. So here we go. I had my Think Pink box come through this week as well. Now, if you follow my Instagram destash page, you will see that I have been destashing fabrics. I've been pretty ruthless this week, um, partly because I've bought loads of new fabrics. I've gone through my stash and I've gone, that's been in there for a while, or I don't know why I bought that, or am I ever going to make it up? Let's just sell it. And I have done that with, and I did that with some fabric, Godmother fabric. So <clears throat> the Rory Sherpa, I love the Rory Sherpa, but I bought the darker colourway. And it just doesn't suit me. And I know that that colourway doesn't suit me. It was the same with the Cheetah Linen Viscose Leopard Print Fabric Godmother fabric that I bought. I know it doesn't suit me. Um, I had the Fabric Godmother Gorgeous Green um, Zebra Jacquard. I just didn't like the texture of the fabric. So it, they were all lessons learned, but I've, I've been ruthless and I've kind of gone, I know I've paid a lot of money for these but I'm gonna de-stash them because I'm not gonna wear them. And they're taking up precious space in my stash that I could fill with more fabrics. So um, there are still fabrics over on that de-stash, but the reason I was telling you about it was because my Think Pink came through and I de-stashed that immediately. Um, it reminded me of a sofa that I had in my, um, my mum rented a house when I was younger and we had these really floral sofas. And it just reminded me of it. I mean, I love florals, but I like a certain type of florals. You know, if it's got a tulip or a peony or um, daisies, yes. I don't like really ditzy, like the Liberty style florals. I really, I'm not keen on the little ditzy ones. Um, and it was something about this print of floral that I just wasn't keen on. So, and like I said, it reminded me of that so far. It, and I don't... I, nothing against fabrics it was actually a lovely viscose twill it was really really soft so i de-stashed that and actually there is somebody that's bought it and they've rehomed it and they are going to look amazing in it um so i was quite pleased that it is gone to somebody that is going to make something up and that is going to be beautiful to them um because it is a really really lovely feeling fabric they should actually receive that today because i posted that a couple of days ago so i did have that through that was happy mail that came through and there are still a few fabrics over on my d stash page i'll try and remember to pop the link in here but I, very minimal because literally i don't know what was going on with people over on instagram but it was like i was uploading and they were there they were purchasing straight away so thank you very much if you have purchased all that's going to happen with that money is it's just going to be reinvested into fabric probably this weekend. Um, so, yeah, selling fabric to buy new fabric, essentially. Um, that isn't the reason I've done it. I've been ruthless. I want more space in my um, stash. Plus, I've got some beautiful fabrics that I want to make some meaningful makes with. Like this particular one, I knew that I wanted to keep it to make something up when that moment took me to make it up. So, right. I think I've done enough waffling. I'm not because I've broken this vlog up, I'm not entirely sure how long I have been waffling at you, but I'm pretty sure it's been a while. So I hope you all have a fantastic week. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you don't already. And I will catch you all on Monday or Tuesday for my next vlog when I share with you the lovely weekender that I'm going on with some amazing, beautiful people. And then I will see you again for next Friday on Friday Sews to show what I have been making. Take care, guys. Have a good week. Bye.